you, sweetheart. That's going to be a grand total of 506. Please. Thank Come on you. Up. Happy Black History Month. Beg your pardon, sweetheart? Happy Black History Month. <laughs> Come on up here. Earlier tonight, I was having a conversation with a young lady, uh, Trinity. Hello, Trinity. Hi. <laughs> your girl Kells welcome back to another video if you didn't know you're tuned into the Browns are us oh what a day what a week oh my gosh it's been super super crazy um, I feel like I'm always telling you guys that it's been crazy but it's been a crazy week Nyla had a volleyball tournament it was like the final so they faced like Five other schools I think 10 schools were there all together so that was on Monday and then Tuesday Nala had like a stomach virus so she was throwing up she was doing number two like it was just really bad so this week has been a rough one it's been really busy it's been energy draining but today is February 1st and it's Black History Month and you know Black History Month for me and my family, it really is every month, but um, we try to do, you know, little special things during the month of February to commemorate Black History Month. So today, seeing that it's February 1st, I am going to do something that I've never done before. And guys, I'm vlogging by myself today, so please bear with me. Usually I have the whole gang with me. But I'm vlogging by myself, so <laughs> please be very patient with me. I am going to see the flag raising for Black History Month. Um, I've never ever um, witnessed it or experienced anything like it. It's not too far from my home, which is very nice. So I don't know how this video is going to turn out. I'm just trying something we'll see come along with me guys i don't want to be there by myself come and join the journey with me and let's celebrate black history month oh yeah wait before i forget i'm not going straight there right now having kids you know that kids they just <sighs> what just happened I don't know what happened guys the camera looks like it just turned off but whatever see what I'm talking about like have patience with me but Nyla's at school she forgot her indoor shoes so I had to go look for them I couldn't find them so I had to get another pair of indoor shoes which is actually like one of her like on the road shoes she'll figure it out when she gets home where her indoor shoes are so I'm going to go drop them to her school and I'll be back. Hello, can I help you? Hi, I'm here to drop off Nyla's indoor shoes. Okay, thanks. You can bring them right into the office. All right, thank you. Hi. <laughs> Do I just leave them right here? Right now. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Beautiful. So it looks like Nyla's school has some things on Black History. I love it. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we just dropped off Nyla's stuff. It is now 10.28. I haven't really ate anything yet. So I'm gonna stop off at Tim Hortons. Probably gonna just get some coffee, maybe a muffin. I'm not too hungry. I'm not much of a morning eater. I don't care to eat in the mornings. I get hungry usually around 12, but being that I'm gonna be outside in the cold for I don't know how long, I think it would be wise for me to grab something to eat, so. 
I'm gonna head over to Tim Hortons now. Always a lineup in Timmy's, all the time. Oh, it is what it is. What is something that you guys love at Timmy's? I feel like nobody really loves Timmy's, but everybody has like one thing that they always get from there. My thing is I love getting um ice caps. I love their ice caps. I'm a sucker for Timmy's ice caps. Like <sighs> I love their ice caps, but it's too cold for an ice cap and I feel for something warm this morning. I love their chocolate chip muffins too. Their chocolate chip muffins lick. Like when I tell you they lick, they lick. They they're fresh. They're fresh every morning. They're just soft. That's what I'm getting today. Yeah, I have to get a chocolate chip muffin today. Definitely. I don't know about their other muffins. I deal with like the cooler sometimes. I have to be in the mood. Um, when I was younger, I used to do the chocolate dip, which is like the vanilla donut with the chocolate icing on top because I'm a chocolate girl. If you didn't know, if you want to make your girl happy, just buy me some chocolate. Like, that's all I need. Like, chocolate is life. I'm that girl who has like a birthday party and my birthday cake is all chocolate and everybody eats vanilla and I really don't care. It, you could eat cake air because I'm I'm doing chocolate. One sec guys I'm about to order. Thanks for choosing Tim Hortons. How can I help you? Hi, can I get a medium coffee, half yes. French vanilla? Or medium French vanilla half coffee? That's it. That's Thank it. Thank you, sweetheart. Something else with that dear? And can I get a chocolate chip muffin please? Thank you, and that's everything? Yes it is. Thank you, sweetheart. That's going to be a grand total of five oh six. Thank Come you. On up. Happy Black History Month. Beg your pardon, sweetheart? Happy Black History Month. <laughs> Come on up here. <laughs> she didn't know what to say. I'm a trip. I can't. I can't. Listen. <laughs> Trust me. For the vlogs, I try to behave myself. But people who are really around me, they know I'm a trip. Like, I do things just to get a reaction out of people. I'm that person. But yeah, um, I don't even know. I, I have a feeling where the park is, but I should definitely put it in my GPS. Because I don't really know for sure, but yeah, uh, coffee and a muffin is five something. Like, it really blows my mind. Like, I don't understand, you know, why things, I mean, I understand, but geez, like, it's just, it's just too much. The cost of living is just beyond bananas. And people can't live. People are just trying their best to get by, you know? Is that for instance? Yes. Um, Debit. Oh, that's okay. I can reach. Thank you. You too. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna park up and. Alright guys, so I just made it to the park. The flag raising is supposed to happen at 11.30. It's now 11.04. I am a bit early, which I'm okay with because I didn't get my coffee yet. Um, And also I want it to be early because it's a park. And I guess you have to like find where the flagpole is. And I'm not familiar with this park. So I'm not too mad at being here earlier than expected. But I'm just going to vibe out. Um, drink my coffee. 
I'm gonna take you guys with me to try to find this flagpole. I'm horrible at directions, so this should be fun. And it's cold outside, but I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I think I'm here. There was like a little bit of confusion on where I was supposed to be. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. So I'm here and there's a whole bunch of cars that are parked on the side of the road. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here and I'm supposed to be parked up here because like I see people driving regular cars, but I'm just warm. I got my layers on today. I am ready to witness what this is all about. Let's go. All right, guys, so I finally made it. I'm here. There's a good amount of people here. I'm actually surprised seeing that it is a Wednesday and it is 11 something right now. But there's, yeah, we have a good turnout here. <laughs> there's a bunch of high school kids. The mayor is here. We have some police here, some firefighters. Let's check it out. On behalf of the New Market African Caribbean Canadian Association, greetings and a warm welcome to everyone gathered here and anyone that's viewing online. Thank you for being here with us this morning. With me here today is the chair of the Black History Month Planning Committee, Pauline Jones. Our Vice Chair, Janice Luttrell. Board Secretary, Keisha Davis. Before we begin, I want to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, and Wendat peoples. I also acknowledge that we convene this meeting upon the treaty lands of the First Nations of the Williams Treaty and the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation as our closest community. We also acknowledge that we're all treaty peoples, including those who came here as settlers, as immigrants either in this generation or in generations past, and those who came here involuntarily, particularly as a result of the transatlantic slave trade. We must also recognize the fact that this colonial nation is founded in historic and ongoing dispossession of this land's indigenous peoples and African descendant peoples. Today, we especially pay tribute to the ancestors of those of African and indigenous origin and descent. As an organization that centers on social justice, we feel it is critical to be informed on the past and ongoing consequences of colonialism. We encourage everyone to learn about the history of these lands and to support resistance here and across Turtle Island. We give thanks to the land that nourishes us and enables us to live in communities May we continue to aspire and nurture and care for each other and this land. As we gather here to, ra to raise the Pan-African flag in honor of Black History Month and in recognition of the International Decade for the People of African Descent, we do this because it is time set aside to bring us closer in our knowledge and awareness of the diverse culture, heritage, achievements, and contributions of African Canadians and what we br brought to the building of this community and country. Many new market residents are unaware that black people have lived in this community since the 19th century and in Canada since the 17th century. 
We need this time that has been set aside to honor black history so that we can arrive at a more accurate and truthful image of who we are as new market residents and Canadians. We need a Black History Month so that black children and black youth are able to be affirmed and find connection since institutional racism continues to deny them dignity. In this moment, I want us to remember that we are all interdependent, that our humanity is dependent on us seeing the humanity in each other. It is not that we don't want police. It is that we want police culture to change. We want police officers to see themselves in us. We Let us not forget that the breakdown of the black community started with the breakdown of the black family. During enslavement, children were stolen and sold away from their families. Black folk, folks were forbidden to get married and this was the law. This was the beginning of the breakdown of our love for each other and for ourselves. The black family, however, through various acts of resistance, have survived. The journey to where we are today started in the 1950s. It's your girl, Kells. I'm back. And I told you guys it was my first time vlogging by myself, so be patient with me. The SD card for the camera was full and I did not get to record the ceremony. I was so devastated. It was a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. There was a really nice turnout. Um, there were a few speeches. The mayor came out. It was really nice. But because I love you guys so much and I didn't want to keep you hanging, I made sure to get the whole gang with me. Everybody say hey. What up, 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 what up. And this time we're going to do it right. And we came to another town that's having a flag raising ceremony tonight to make sure that you guys get to experience it with us. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. All right. So we're out here, guys. And you know what? I thought it would have been a nice, um, it would have been a nice gesture to have the whole family here to experience something like this. So I guess it kind of worked out. But thank you guys for rocking with me during my first vlog. We'll definitely have to try that one again. But I'm promising you that I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to get better. I'm going to get those vlogs out at you, all right? <laughs> Alright guys, so we're at the Aurora Town Hall, which is basically like a city hall for the town of Aurora. They're about to do their flag raising. We're inside, I think, the council area, which is pretty cool. I've never been inside one of these before, but let's go and see what they have to offer and just to see what they have to say about the whole Black History Month. All right? Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. But on Ross and Porte la Paix, he'll say Porte la Croix. Ton espoir et tu ne peux pas, c'est le brillant exploit. God keep our land, glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada. 
join us for this very special ceremony. Tonight we are gathered here to celebrate the start of Black History Month. And in just a short little while, we will all head outside to raise the Pan-African flag, a clear symbol of our commitment to celebrate Black history and excellence. And to recognizing the significant contributions that Black community members have made to our town. I do want to acknowledge everyone that is standing up here with me as well uh, today. So, uh, council members, uh, Harold Kim, uh, council member Ron Weiss, council member Rachel Dillon, as well as council Wendy Gardner, who's up over there. Yes, thank you, councilor. Um, as well as, obviously, all our committee members, our staff as well, and also our representatives from both federal and provincial governments. We have our member, our provincial parliament, uh, Don Gallagher Murphy, uh, from I always get uh, New Market Aurora, Aurora New Market. And we also have our uh, MPP Minister of Housing, uh, Michael Parsa, uh, Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. See, I'm so used to just saying Aurora, I really don't care about the other communities. But, but no, we, we thank them for uh, being here as well. So thank you very much, everyone, for, uh, for being here. And of course, I want to acknowledge and give special thanks to the Aurora Black Community Association and the Aurora Black Caucus for the incredible work that they do in our community and for bringing all of us together to recognize and share the important stories, history, and achievements of the black community. I'm deeply grateful for the partnership that we share and for the opportunities to learn and celebrate black excellence in Aurora and across the country. It is now my distinct honor and privilege to read the official Black History Month Proclamation for the Town of Aurora. Whereas Black History Month recognizes the contributions that people of African and Caribbean descent have made to Canada, shaping its identity, and whereas Black History Month was first recognized in Ontario in February 1993, marking the 200th anniversary of the passage of legislation prohibiting the importation of slaves into Upper Canada, and whereas the United Nations proclaimed 2015 to 2024 the decade for people of African descent an important step in the international community recognizing that people of African descent represent a distinct group whose human rights must be promoted and protected. And whereas Black History Month continues to provide the town of Aurora with the opportunity to celebrate the contributions and vital role that Canadians of African descent have made to strengthen the social and cultural mosaic of our community, province, and country. Therefore, be it resolved that on behalf of the Corporation of the Town of Aurora, I, Mayor Tom Morales, do hereby proclaim the month of February 2023 as Black History Month in the Town of Aurora. with, as I said, so many familiar faces, so this is wonderful, uh, for this flag raising ceremony because we are honoring uh, this evening the start of the Black History Month. And Black History Month is the time to celebrate Black culture and heritage and the many vital contributions that Black Ontarians have made to our province's economic, social, and cultural landscape. Throughout our history, Black Ontarians have helped to build our great province with achievements in the arts, and I can't forget to recognize the great St. George St. Kitts here as well, the sciences, business, politics, and more. Black History Month is also a time to acknowledge that racism still exists in our society. Our government is committed to being an ally by ensuring we invest in programs that combat the negative impacts of racism and hate. I am proud to be a local partner in supporting our local Aurora Newmarket Black Community 
today and into the future. So thank you everybody. Enjoy the flag raising event today. As an adult, I, by choice, became a Canadian. Of course, I didn't put up a flag like, like many explorers, um, but I wasn't an explorer. I am here, and it is beautiful to see. It is beautiful to see so many different people represented here. It is my belief that most movements, especially civil rights, Black history movements don't gain traction until everybody comes on board. It's, a, it's an all hands on deck approach. So again, good evening. MC, Ron Kelman, Fiona Durant, President of the ABC, the Aurora Black Community. I see Jerisa Grant Hall, uh, president and founder of NAPA in Newmarket. I see many of our wonderful leaders in Ontario. MPP Don Gallagher Murphy, MPP Mike Parcel, uh, Your Worship Tom Rackers. I see so many councillors. I see members of our vaunted uh, services, our vaunted essential services. Thank you very much for being here. Counselors, family members, friends, thank you for being here for the launch of the 2023 version of Black History Month. I could not be more grateful to Fiona and the Aurora Black community for being so tireless in championing the cause of the dismantling of any societal ill that keeps us from being that great country that we are and will continue to be. Hey, good evening. I uh, wasn't prepared to speak. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I have planned to uh, provide a um, uh, musical backdrop to today's um, ceremony. Um, of course, I want to thank um, Aurora Black Caucus in the town of Aurora for uh, the invitation. Um, um, I've been a resident of Aurora for uh, a very long time, uh, born and raised here in, in Toronto, Canada. Um, very, very proud of the work that continues to be done uh, by the town. Um, there's certainly a lot more work that, that, uh, that needs to be done to ensure that um, racism is ultimately um, eradicated. You know, um, myself, I'm growing up in, uh, in York Region schools uh, since grade six. Um, you know, I've experienced a lot of racism. Uh, my daughter, who recently uh, left the community to go to university, um, you know, um, a, a good 30 years later is still dealing with the same uh, challenges. So uh, while we have made strides, uh, there certainly is a lot more work that needs to be done to um, eradicate racism in our community, and it starts by all of us uh, appreciating and, and understanding each other's cultures. So I certainly thank the, the town of Aurora for making the space to, um, uh, for us to uh, celebrate uh, the heritage of black Canadians. Thank you. Okay, I'll be very brief. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, um, I want to thank you very much for your uh, invite. Um, this is my third flag raising for the day. Um, Jerisha um, and company, NACA, was there earlier, and then of course, uh, YRP headquarters. And Jerisha was at her own um, flag raising. Uh, she came to YRP's flag raising, and she's here tonight too, so we got to talk more. Nice. <laughs> up every time. Ladies and gentlemen, something else I came to my mind when I was sitting down um, with the, we're celebrating Black History Month. But not only are we celebrating Black History Month, we're actually in the chambers. Yeah. Right? We're about to, the Pan African flag is in the chambers. So I'm an individual. I also, I know we have a lot of work to do. I recognize that. So it's not about just as I think uh, someone had mentioned earlier, sitting back and just getting comfortable about all the great stuff that has happened because we can't get lost in that, we can't get complacent. We have to continue the work and the fight and the journey. 
So, um, I think it's important to do recognize, though, when we are making some strides, though. I think that's very, very important. Something else I want to uh, mention as well, too. Earlier, when I came in and folks were just kind of intermingling, um, you recognize I'm wearing my uniform. Um, it's not lost by me that my uniform does impact members of my community, members of the black community. And um, earlier tonight, I was having a conversation with a young lady, uh, Trinity. Hello, Trinity. Hi. So um, when I was speaking to Kelsey um, about some Trinidad stuff, this is Carnival is coming up. I noticed Trinity had a Trinity had a very serious look on her face. So being in, mindful of the fact that my uniform, I wanted that she looked very serious. I wanted to ensure that she was comfortable. So before I jumped into conclusions, I asked her. I said, "Are you okay? Are you afraid?" And she said she was okay. And that warmed my heart, folks. It really, really did because I know that it, there is trauma when I uh, when I put on my uniform. And at times I'm a little conflicted because I love my job. This is something I really wanted to do. But I do recognize when I put it on and the good intentions that I have, sometimes there's some impact that I'm hoping and I'm working towards each and every day the rest of my other colleagues to try to make things better so that little persons like Trini will always feel comfortable and I'm hoping we can get there at some point in time. So anyway, listen, God bless each and every one of you. Happy. Black History Month, and as someone said earlier, um, it shouldn't be just Black History Month, but Black History is each and every day. It's history right now that we're in the uh, chambers, and there's a Pan-African flag right here in front of you. And of course, if you wanna, I just want to end by saying thank you very much. I will see you on the 3rd, me and my crew, we're there, right? <laughs> here is you. me and my crew, we will be there on Saturday, um, the 4th, at the Old Town Hall, right? So anyway, God bless each and one of you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for the opportunity to join this evening. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Don. I'm with the Aurora Historical Society. Uh, and so, when I, I, the mission of the Aurora Historical Society, and I want to read this because I don't want to get it wrong, is to preserve, inter interpret, and promote the social, cultural and material heritage of the community of Aurora for the education, enrichment, and enjoyment of present and future generations. So in other words, we're committed to supporting and showcasing the history of all members of the Aurora community, including the traditionally underrepresented ones, such as the black community. My wife and I lived in Aurora for over 40 years. We moved here in 1977. And this is a substantially different town from when we moved here, not only in size, but in diversity. And the, the joys and benefits that diversity brings to a community cannot be overstated. And uh, it behooves us all well to be here. Thank you to Fiona uh, and her group and Ron for organizing this and bringing us all together because it really is uh, the only way that we're actually going to move forward is moving forward together. Michael said it very well. So thank you very much for the opportunity to join this evening, and congratulations on a great event. My heart is filled up uh, because I look at uh, I look at the room, and it speaks to the diversity of our community, and it speaks to the fact that uh, the, the tight knit community we're we're growing. We're coming up, we're coming together, and these are all the important things. We're doing a lot of things. As was mentioned by the inspector, this flag is here in the town hall, in the chamber, for the first time. We've raised the flag, and I remember, yes, yes. And I remember being on the week we spoke, and you said to me, uh, can we raise the flag? And I said to you, that's, that's easy. I, I don't understand why we haven't raised the flag before in the town of Aurora, and I'm glad that we're doing it, and each year, getting bigger, we're getting stronger. And while I'm proud, as everyone has mentioned, there's still a lot more to do. My promise as the mayor of this town, and I know council believes in this as well, we're gonna do everything that we can to get to that day that Mark mentioned that we can eradicate racism in our community. It's, and it's not just about our community, it's about working together. And that's why I'm very proud to see Matt is here, Jerry's is here. Okay. We have people from different parts, not just our community, but from, from outside of our community. And it takes all of us, because racism doesn't just 
and that our board expands beyond that. And so we all need to work together to make a difference and to do it right. And so we're gonna keep doing it and we're gonna keep doing whatever we can to all work together. And I'm proud of the community organizations coming together and working with the town and every member of our staff, everybody here. So thank you very much, everyone. And not only that, it's while we look to the past and we look to the present, we also need to look to the future. So today, when I go out, we raise that flag. I'd like to see the future with me raising that flag. And that's the youth. If any of you here would like to raise the flag with me, because that's what it's going to take. It's about our future. And so I'd like them to raise the flag with me this evening. So, we all Here we are. Oh, Thank now let's raise the flag and go. <laughs> <laughs> So that concludes the end of the night. And when I tell you, we had an amazing night. You see how God worked? The vibes were just on point. We met a lot of people. We learned a lot. It was just beautiful to see the community come out and, you know, just show respect for Black History Month. And, you know, basically just show up for Black people. It was a beautiful, beautiful night. The kids got involved. They were able to help raise the flag. It was just an enjoyable night. All right, girls, say happy Black History Month. Happy, happy Black, Black History, History Month. Month. You guys do not forget to like, share, subscribe. If you guys like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, let us know what we could do better. Drop a comment. Let us know what you guys think of the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.